welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to start with teaching you a new Swedish word, which is the word for summer. It's very similar, it's actually sommar, so as you can see down there. So summer is definitely the best time to visit Sweden. It's so beautiful, it's just such an amazing time to go because it's quite warm, it's sunny, it's light, everyone's happy. But most of the important is just light all the time because most of, for like about a month, you have almost 24 hours sunlight because of the midsummer or midnight sun. So you could be out at like 11 o'clock at night and it's like midday and it's just such an amazing experience. So if you go in Sweden, go in summer because also people are happy because they're warm, they're not closed in and cold. And, just an amazing time to go, so go and enjoy summer. Anyway, let's move on. As it's summer, I've done a bit of shopping and I bought lots of different stuff. I bought a bit of beauty products, I bought some books, I bought some clothes, but as I haven't bought that much of each thing, I didn't really have enough for a specific video for those, so I decided to just put them all together and just do a kind of summer haul, random haul, just kind of all together. So this is my summer random haul. So first of all, I've been looking for a straw hat since last year. I was on the underground and it just flew off my head and down the tracks and a train just came and just smashed that little hat and I have not seen it since. So I went to Steven who's the hat man, he has amazing hats. And he took me to Christie's and treated me with this amazing straw Panama hat. So yeah, what do you think? Please leave me a comment below if you like it or don't like it, anything, to be honest. I absolutely love it and it's a... I can't remember the name, Dan Brinch Hilby or something like that. Anyway, it's got this kind of medium brim with a navy band and like the edge as well and it's just natural colour and I just absolutely love it and Christie's are great um, hat makers and this is a Panama hat and they are from, they've been making hats since like the 18th century so they're pretty good at it to be honest and also I have a little trick now for when I lose my hats on a train I'm not going to do that again so I'll put these little curvy grips into the little label in the back and grip it on to my hair in the back. I don't know if you can see this but I kind of, ah, I can't even do it now, but I put that little grip into my label and then I just put that on my hair and just put a grip in through in my hair and when it, it's still kind of trying to blow off but it gives me enough time to react and just grab onto my hat so I'm not going to lose this hat. And that is my Panama hat. So next up is Lee. And I got this shirt from Lee. And it's called a slouchy shirt. And it's just kind of nice and loose fit. It's like white with all these like little square, colourful little things. And it's just so cute. Like it was like aqua blue, kind of peach and red. And I, it's like a really nice loose fit. And it's really comfortable. And I just really like it because it's a really summery kind of feel to it and it's like 100% cotton so it feels really nice on my skin. And that's it really for my Lee shirt. So next up I got some books from Waterstones and I'm going to Paris soon with my mum. And I just love reading books based on where I'm going on holiday. So it kind of just helps me to get to know the place better, like the city better. And it's just, you kind of get to know in a whole different way. So for Paris, I bought first of all the, the most beautiful walk, which is mainly about walking around in Paris, which for some people probably be a nightmare to read about. But for me, I saw oh, it's amazing just walking around in Paris and talking about different streets, and I'm like taking notes, and it's like oh, I can't wait to see this. And next up is never, never any end to Paris, and this is about a guy who. I kind of want to be like Ernest Hemingway, so he kind of writes and he moves to Paris to write and just kind of live Ernest Hemingway's life. So I haven't 
really looking forward to that yet, but I'm just really looking forward to reading them in Paris. And then next up is the 642 Things to Write About. I'm sure you heard of this series of books. It's just kind of really random like stuff like write a story using four L words, lipstick, lust, loss and locked. Uh, write from the point of view of a literary character who changed your life. Like there's lots of like little things like that you can just write a few words about, you just get your it kind of describes in the back, it's like, get your creative juices flowing with this collection of witty, outrageous and thought-provoking writing prompts. Open to any page for a fresh dose of inspiration, sure to break through, that I write this blog and jumpstart your literary genius. And I guess hoping that this can help me with my writing, even for my blog and just my creative writing. And uh, yeah, I just kind of want to try it and see if I like it. So, once in a while I go to this such a cute little shop in Marlebone, it's called Content Beauty and it's like a little boutique organic skincare shop and they kind of have all these cult organic products which is all around the world, from around the world and it's just, oh I love it and I just kind of go there to treat myself so let me show you what I got. So after being recommended Green People's Sun Lotion but almost every single green beauty blogger out there I decided to go and get some so I bought this and uh, this is the Edelweiss Sun Lotion and it's a natural tan accelerator and it was voted the best sun lotion by Natural Health and Beauty and it has the SPF 15 and also has like the accelerator is like gives it a 25% speedy like tanning so you speed quick, uh, tan quicker and for me that was gonna make maybe my people notice that I'm actually tanned because I hardly tan, I don't burn I just, people come out, I come back from holiday and people be like oh, oh, did you go on holiday? Um, so I kind of need that and also I got this facial sun lotion uh, just to kind of protect my face more because it's like SPF 30 so it's a little bit higher and just protecting myself from getting wrinkles and also my nose sometimes get really burnt so need to protect that one and I choose organic sun lotions because sometimes you get like this kind of prickly heat things where because a lot of sun lotions has um, mineral oils and silicone they're kind of it's kind of the same thing as putting yourself in uh, like wrapping yourself in cling film and it just overheats your body so instead of choosing products that actually your body can breathe it's so much better so go organic is such an important thing when you and my next item from Content Beauty is the Ilia Concealer. I got the Cassava C1 which is the lightest one in their range and I'm wearing it at the moment. It's just I love concealer because it just gives that a little bit better finish and kind of flawlessness. And uh, it looks like that. And I'm going to just read what it says, what, how they describe it. Uh, Ilia Vivid Concealer is a botanical packed gentle formula for sensitive skin providing light to medium coverage and the healing properties of aloe and coconut oil soothe and hydrate while arnica and green tea extract help calm inflammation and it's just such a nice and gentle product and it's organic, it's vegan and it's just such an amazing product and I love Ilia and every time I buy it I just love it more and more so my last item from Content Beauty is this elderflower salt spray from Less Is More and I've been following Less Is More on Instagram for a while and they really intrigued me with their products. They do many like these hair products and this all looks really great. And they're an Austrian brand which is quite unusual to be honest. Uh, especially being an organic uh, product. And they've got like 100% natural ingredients and this one's got about 41% organic ones. And it's just really great. I love my textured kind of beach looking hair so this soul spray is amazing and also it just gives you a bit more texture and you can put on dry hair, damp hair so I'm loving this at the moment I also went to Whole Foods to pick up some essentials and I got this Faith in Nature uh, Crystal Roll-On Deodorant and I never tried this before, I thought I want to try something new and as I run out of my normal deodorant and pick this up it's quite unusual actually because it's got both for men and women and it's got a uh, green tea and aloe vera but to be honest I think it smells a bit like 
kind of a mixture of like a green tea and a chamomile tea kind of thing so it's like I'm sure this has like something chamomile in there as well but it's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's paraben free so you know it's brilliant so I'm gonna try it and I hope I like it and then I also stocked up on Pacifica wipes because it's a three for two so I thought better stock up and they are I've been speaking about this before, like I love Pretty Pika's wipes because they're biodegradable, they're paraben as less free and they smell amazing, like they smell like of holiday, so they're perfect for summer, they're like coconut and papaya, so it's like you can just imagine that it feels like you're on a beach with a cocktail in your hand and it's just, oh, it smells so good and um, as I'm going on lots of holidays uh, soon. I've so got like Paris, I've got Thailand, Cambodia, so you know, so I need to I bring all this with me because it's so much easier to just wipe off your makeup and stuff. So bring this with me and I can't wait for holidays. And lastly I went to Another Stories. I love Another Stories and uh, come on Sweden. Uh, if for those who doesn't know, Another Stories is part of the H&M group. And I went there probably in like a early March on a rainy day and bought a pair of sunglasses and even the woman in the shop was like why are you buying sunglasses in the rain but it was I love those sunglasses and then I managed to break them so how happy was I when I went in there and it was 75% sell on the same pair you think it's bad boys and I actually love them like they are I love the square kind of sunglasses because I think it suits my face shape better and it's like the brown kind of colour and yeah it's just kind of really cool and I just really like them and it was because it was on the sale it was like under four pounds so I decided to buy another pair which in white so kind of exactly the same but different colour and I just thought you know I always break my sunglasses or I lose them so why not and all together it was like £7.60 or something. So. And that was it, I think. Mean, that was my other stories. It was all my summer random haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, if you did, please give me a little like. And don't forget to subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you very soon. Hey -do! I was planning on showing you my whole collection. But when I put it in front of me, I was like, wow, that is... I'll have a lot of tea. I minimise it down and I'm going to show you my little favourite collection of my favourite teas and mugs. But first...